Boy, I sure hope this doesn't last today. It's quite a thick falling of snow. Um, it's not supposed to, it's actually it's supposed to cool off and get north wind. It's supposed to be wind gusts up to like 30, 35 miles an hour today. So should be interesting. Should be interesting. <laughs> I hope I I hope I get some fur in the traps. It's been uh, this is day five, so uh, I let them set for quite a while. We'll see see how the day goes. Oh, it's about breakfast time. We get daylight here. A little bit of snow still hanging on. The wind is coming up. Uh, Over eight so far. Checking traps. Uh, started in the dark this morning. Uh, it's getting light later and later now. The days are getting shorter. But yeah, this is gonna be interesting because it's windy. Uh, the only trouble with this is this fresh little skiff of snow we've gotten has covered uh, a lot of the tracks. So I'm not gonna be able to see a lot of the activity that uh, that took place the last five days um, while, I, while I wasn't here. So unfortunately, it might be a little tough to see whether there were Martin or Fisher, you know, or Weasel go into the boxes or not. But anyway, um, we're gonna run the traps. It's gonna be cold and breezy. It's warm right now, but it's supposed to get uh, eight degrees tonight. So that'll be kind of interesting. Uh, I'm just gonna run these sets and, and uh, see what we get and make sure everything is working for the next uh, few days. It's it's like uh, this this weather in Northern Maine has, has not uh, made up its mind what it wants to do. And we've, we, we were, were like, we were cold, we were pretty cold. Now we're up just right about freezing and it's gonna be down in the single digits. Highs in the 20s this weekend. And then next week, like Monday, it's gonna go from a high of 22 to a high of 51 um, and rain. And then it's gonna cold snap back down again and get back down in the 20s a day or two after that. So it's just all over the map. I don't know what the deal is, but uh, we take what we're given, I guess, and we, uh, we just roll with it, so. I'm gonna go check some traps. Oh, for 20 so far today. Man, I'll tell you what, this trap line is up and down, up and down this year. So I had, oh, I think four different, four or five locations of the 20 that had tracks, Martin and or Fisher uh, tracks to the boxes. And they just walked up, kind of sniffed things around and took off. So that's the year. That's the way things have been this year. Um, moving on. So what are you doing, you say, to kill time on the truck ride? I'm in between strings of traps right now. And while I'm running the traps today, I am listening to an audio book from Seth Kantner's new book, A Thousand Trails Home, a story of caribou. So Seth is an Alaska author who grew up in northwest alaska with caribou pretty amazing writer and a lot of interesting things so i definitely suggest you check that out it just came out like a month or so ago um, it's called a thousand trails home um, interesting stuff and nice to listen to a little story while you're on the trap line uh, so yeah hopefully i'll have so many martin to film in the next 40 sets that uh, that I'll, I'll I won't have to listen to anything. I'll just be checking traps and turning the camera on. But uh, I don't know. Maybe you'll maybe I'll catch you right at the end of the day after uh, a long day of nothing. We'll see how it goes. Hey, we're getting toward the end of the day today. Checked a lot of traps. Uh, I get a few more to go, but boy, I haven't caught a thing yet. And uh, I assumed that with the the snow and the colder weather, we'd have some better success, but. As they say here in Maine, the odd years are odd. So uh, it is It is very, very odd. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we do have something here though, so let's go check it out. This is a location where my boy and I picked up a Martin uh, a couple of checks ago. It's a really nice little spot. So we may have another one. I saw a trap fired and I saw something dark. That does not look like it was when I said it. 
Look at that. There's a there's a tail sticking out of that. Huh. That box is flipped around. It's been moved around from where I set it. That's interesting. Let me see. I don't have my tripod, so I get it's still broken. So I still gotta I gotta stick this into the frozen ground. There we go. Alright, let's check this out, see what we got here. Travis fired it was the box was in this direction it's almost like something was moving the box trying to get at the bait and swung it all the way around finally went in I guess let's see we got a fisher man all right look at that tail beautiful beautiful first fisher of the season for me I'm not in fisher country I'm really in Martin country but there's always a few fisher around Wow, that is awesome. I always love that tail sticking out of the back of the box. That's a good size fisher, it looks like. At least good size to be fit through a four inch hole. Look at that, that is a big one. Yes, sir, absolutely. Caught right behind the ears, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Beautiful fisher, look at that. Isn't that sweet? All right, make a nice fur. Look, at that. that's a big animal, big, big tracks. That is a male, male fisher. Sweet, all right, that's exciting. It's been a long day, that made it a little bit better. <laughs> you get a little bit of a closer look at him, maybe. Pretty cool animal. And he went after some beaver meat in there and a little bit of lure. So yeah, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'll take it. All right, last trap of the day. I figured you might as well come out and check it with me. It's uh, still the one fisher is all we've caught. I think we've checked about 68-ish traps. So, yeah, not a trapper's dream this season. And it's another empty one. There we go. A little bit of activity, but it looks like it's probably just a rabbit that was hanging around there. So, anyway, uh, Still smell my my lure. It was at the end of a jar there, so I just left it there. Long distance call. Um, the lures, all, I, the whole the whole line, the lures are good. The baits are good. I mean, it's just the animals are. There's no issue with finding uh, the the bait or the lure or anything. It's just a matter of they're just not hungry. Um, they get all the food they want. So uh, yeah, I don't know. Not moving around a lot. Not very hungry. It's just part of the game. So uh, I've got like, I don't know, hour and a half of daylight left. And this is the tough thing. I mean, I've got two parts of my brain uh, going at each other right now. Uh, one one side of me, my, uh, my logical brain is saying, listen, you're spending a lot of time and effort and a lot of money this year chasing uh, Martin that just don't want to be caught. And it's a tough year, it's slow for everybody. Uh, you just need to pack it up, call it good, start pulling your traps, um, and and just uh, you know wait till next year, it'll be better. Uh, you're, you're being silly, being crazy, being uh, uh, unwise. That's the logical side of me. Then the more emotional side of me says, well, you know, you, 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 your goal is the 25 Martin, um, you got to push for it, set harder, set longer, work harder. Who cares about the money and all that? Just go set more traps and keep working, keep pushing. Um, show how tough you are and, and all that. And I don't know, I'm kind of uh, battling back and forth between the two all day. I was hoping that 
the the catch today would kind of help make that decision, but it uh, hasn't really. So anyway, I've got a little daylight and I'm gonna, I got some traps in the back of the truck and I'm just gonna go keep trapping. So we'll see, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, maybe next, maybe in a few days I'll decide to go start pulling everything or maybe I'll set more traps out. I I don't know, but uh, it's, a, it's a nice day. It's a quiet day, haven't seen another truck all day and uh, it's, uh, we're in the woods. I guess we'll, we'll make the best of it. All right. Well, I went ahead and did it. Got to uh, the end of this road system and I made six new sets. My last one is right here in this uh, clump of soft woods. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes at the end of the day. I do, got, I do have a couple boxes left in the truck, but I ran out of road, so. I have to find a new road system next time. And uh, hopefully in another four or five days, we'll see how we did and hopefully it'll be better than it was, uh, than it was this time. Jeez, it's gonna be wicked cold tonight. And uh, yeah, a change in weather might help or it might not do anything. Be a change in weather for the colder and then for the warmer. Eh, who knows? Anyway, it was a long, cold, windy day made it through we're trapping we're in the woods can't complain next time will be better one fisher for the day all right catch you guys next time we are going to start pulling the traps today so i've been kind of running that balance between stick to itiveness and persistence and uh, financial well-being and common sense so I've been pushing it a little bit here with some snowstorms, and but uh, I think we've given it pretty good effort in this area, and so I'm gonna start pulling traps and and uh, start winding things down. Had a had a pretty good run. Everything was fun. So uh, a lot of work, a lot of time, but a lot of uh, a lot of memories and a few Martin and Weasel Fisher. So um, I'm probably gonna pull a truckload full of boxes uh, today. I don't know if I'll do half of them and then be back in four days from now to, to pull the rest of them. I think that's how it's gonna go, but we'll see. We'll see uh, where we're at. So anyway, it's a cold day. It's about eight degrees this morning. Uh, and uh, it's it looks like it's gonna be windy and cold all day, but got plenty of good clothing and, and hopefully have a good one. All right, just getting light. We're pulling traps uh, on this part of the line. We had quite a bit of snow here compared to back home where I, where I live in a lower elevation. There was uh, snow and then turned to rain and we lost a lot of the snow there. But here it just formed a crust on top of the snow. They got more snow and uh, they, they got a crust here. So, well, they, the Martin, right? The, there's nobody here, but <laughs> this area. Uh, got got a little more snow across so there, I don't know there's probably like eight inches of snow uh, if you go all the way to the ground but you're it's not too bad um, just makes it a little tougher to walk but anyway uh, I this is trap two I just pulled the first one and I, I see this one's fired off so we'll go check it out this is all this has been a good spot for me I've caught Got a lot of fur here yet last year and this year. Let's see. You notice the box got plenty of snow there to kind of make things a little bit challenging. It, the traps that I do keep in the woods today, I'm gonna have to clear a lot out clear this crusted snow and then clear out of the front see so whatever came into this trap if we have anything came in before the snow uh, or it snuck in through this little tiny opening so what we got here that looks like our bait so something pulled our bait back out that's not good we'll see maybe we caught it Alright, we got a weasel. 
It's the year of the big weasel. Look at that. That's another nice big, wow, good size weasel. That's a beauty. All pure white, nice clean fur. Man, look at that thing. <laughs> Rough grouse feathers in his, in his mouth. So yeah, that's good. All right, good deal. This I've been catching some big weasels this year. All these long tails. I, a lot of times, a lot of trap lines, I'll catch mostly short tail weasels. So that's kind of interesting. All right. Pulling the strap. Sometimes you got to stop for a second and just enjoy uh, what's out here. Look at that sunrise just peeking up through the clouds. It's going to be a, a nice day. It's going to be colder than the Dickens, but um, check that out. That's pretty. Oh, pulling traps, pulling traps. We got five boxes here pulled. And as is the case, when you decide that you're gonna pull, you start catching stuff. That makes you doubt wanting to pull <laughs> traps. <laughs> That's how it goes. Um, so I don't know if you guys remember this, if you've been watching uh, my videos much, but this area, I did a video here last year when I was setting up uh, boxes and and I did it as like a location type video to show people different locations and I really liked this spot it was there's a nice patch of, of cedar and yellow birch um, and good cover there and good debris down on the on the forest floor and in there and then you've got you know this intersection uh, of a couple of roads and I, I really liked this spot and I said it last year I never got a thing last year and I never got a thing this year so I was getting pretty frustrated with this spot and I just went to pull it and I'm like you know what? I don't know why I ever even sat here. What was this? what what was I thinking? My, I must have got something wrong. I'm not gonna sit here in the future. And then I saw there's something in the trap. So, <laughs> oh, isn't that how it goes? You think you have something figured out, and sometimes maybe it's just a random chance that you caught or didn't catch something in a particular set. So. We'll see. So my box was buried. I just kicked it around a little bit. It's that white box. It's buried in the front. So whatever uh, got caught here would have done it pre-storm. Let's see. See a tail. I bet it's a Martin. Everything's frozen. Hey, all right, we got a nice little Martin. Not a big one. Not a big one, but I'll take it, man. Awesome. You never know. You never know. Probably a juvenile that was dispersing through this area. And uh, yeah, decided to go into the box, try to get the bait. All right, good deal. I'm still pulling the boxes, but that's good. Well, probably not a bad decision to pull those traps, it turns out. I pulled uh, 23. Here they are in the back of the truck. And I only caught the weasel and the martin, so the rest of those sets were not all that productive. Um, since then, I've checked another 20-ish sets and have caught zero, but I did keep those in the woods for the next few days, and I, like I said, I think I'll be up uh, four days from now to pull the rest of these. But yeah, I just got onto this uh, road system here. This is one I set up a little more recently. And I had a fisher track right at this stream crossing on the road the other day. And it came over toward the box. It kind of investigated, but it didn't it didn't uh, try to get in or anything. So I assumed it wasn't just wasn't feeding, wasn't hungry, didn't need to make the effort. But I just saw it looks like another track and I saw my trap is fired. So we may have something here. This is a nice little grove here. I've been thinking I'd catch something at some point. 
Nope. <laughs> Look at there's black over there. There's there's black. There is black. And I see what looks like maybe fisher track. Oh yeah. Awesome. Look at that thing. We got a fisher. We got a fisher. Sweet, 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 sweet. Must be pretty good size. It's ha halfway out of the box. My goodness. I gotta go get my phone and take a picture of this. All right. I'm gonna snap a picture and document this. That looks like a nice fisher, man. Sweet. That was after the snowstorm. That was recently. That might have been last night. Yeah, it's not even frozen yet. That was from last night. The box is frozen and solid. I don't know if I'm gonna get this guy out of here. Look at that big old fisher. The front got through with the legs. Not so much. See that animal packed that box right full. That's just amazing. You can tell that's why they they have to be really hungry in order to come into these boxes. Um, and this one finally was. So that's good. We had a, a beaver tail and some beaver meat in there for bait. So yeah, awesome. That filled the box right up. It's good. Good to catch a fisher. Oh, we're at the end of this road. You guys probably remember this spot. We got a brook down here. And I sat on the high bank of the brook. This is where I, uh, I may have mentioned there was a beaver foliage just down below here. But yeah, we got something in this, in this uh, set. I can tell you right now, cause I cheated. I saw a tail hanging out the back of the box. <laughs> so um, we caught uh, Fisher at the, at the beginning of this road. And then we ran uh, three sets and this is the fourth one since we get that Fisher. So let's see what's in this one. This is where I had to, I was at the end of my bottle long distance call and I think I just hung the bottle up in the tree. Can't remember what I had for bait on this. But it's a nice, oh, see the tail guys? You might see it through the trees. It's either a skunk or a fisher. I like these high banks. Nice spot for a fisher to be hunting. Hey, <laughs> holy smokes. That's a, that looks like it's gonna be a nice one. Wow. That other one we got was a female. They're usually either uh, juvenile males or females because the, the big males can't fit through those uh, four inch opening. Wow, I'm gonna take a snap a couple of pictures of them. That is just so cool. This is so, yeah, there's my long distance call. Um, the cool thing about this, guys, it, uh, both of these were caught uh, after the snowstorm. It, it looks like probably the same night. Not even froze yet, yeah. That was last night, I bet. Oh, sweet, 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 sweet. This is awesome. All right. Wow, that's a pretty good, that's gotta be a good size fisher. It's still, back feet were still on the ground. Another reason it's kind of nice to have the, uh, uh, the trap set up, just perched up just a little bit so they can get down into it. He pulled that springs of that trap right inside the box. Isn't that something? Holy smokes. Yeah. 
It's that Ross Carmen trap. Ross Carmen's trap line. Holy smokes. I don't know if I can get you out, Fisher. <laughs> It's gonna come out. It's not too big. That's a male. I don't want to hurt the fur. Mess up the fur. Oh, his foot's caught there. Let me see. If I can get that. Boy, an animal has to be pretty hungry to squeeze through such a small opening relative to their body size. I'll tell you what. If it was frozen, the box, the box would have to come home. <laughs> oh man, this is great. I don't think it'll go forward. I don't think it'll go the other way. Eater right there. I don't know if I'm gonna get this fisher out of here. Let's try this way. Holy smokes. Oh, there we go. We're making progress now. That's a good sized fisher. That's a beauty. Look at that long body. Holy smokes. Awesome. That is good. Man, sweet. Two fisher on this road system in one check. That's pretty awesome. Um, they were around. They're, I've seen tracks everywhere. They've been around all season. It just took, I guess, enough snow and cold weather and made it a little harder to find food and they were more willing to squeeze into the box. Hey guys, you gotta check this out. There was something, it's gotta be something with the weather pattern that's had the fisher moving because I just caught those two fisher on the last road I was on. Here's a fisher track coming off the road, going right in toward my set. And I know I ain't got nothing to show you because <laughs> that same track is up here leaving the set and going right back up to the, to the uh, road tire track. So that animal was walking down the road, it smelled my lure or bait, it went into the set and then it came back out. And let's, I want to show you what it did at the set, it's kind of interesting. If this was a foothold trap I'd have this animal more than likely. And there's, came in from the stream bank, there's my box. This is the track that was leaving. But look at this. This was all covered in snow. It came in to where the bait was at the back of the box. It dug all around, tried to get into the back of the box, realized there was no way to get to it. It went around to the front of the box. Look at all these tracks. But it didn't dig quite enough to get to the opening where it could have got to the bait. So, <laughs> uh, something got the bait though, look at that. Probably a, maybe a weasel or something. It looked like something pulled the bait out. Um, yeah, that's interesting. So I'm gonna rebait this. That animal was investigating and was, was very interested in, uh, in this set. So who knows, he knows it's here. That animal knows this is here, so maybe uh, in the next four days, if, if we're lucky enough that it comes back, we may catch it or we may have to wait till next year. Oh, I'm kind of just following this, watching this fisher track in the tire rut on the road. Uh, it, it popped into the woods a couple times to investigate something. Looks like it stopped to investigate that rabbit track, but it keeps coming back to the road. It's kind of interesting. 
There, we haven't had a lot of fresh tracks that we've been able to follow this year. Just the way the snow's been, at least when I've been in to check my traps, haven't had consistent, you know, periods with soft snow where you can track anything. Went into the woods there, come back out to the road. See, it's going quite a ways down the road, and I do have a trap up ahead, so oh, went in the woods there, went back into the road, and just went up to a turnaround to go look at things over, I guess. This fisher is traveling pretty good distance along this road. The track's still in the tire. It was a kind of a bugger driving today because the old tire tracks, it's easy to fall off of them and they get in the soft snow and it really is pain. Okay, our set is up here on the left. Let's see if there's a flagging tape. Let's see if the fisher went in to investigate that. Okay. Oh, there it went in the woods right there, and it came out of the woods right at our set. So it'll be interesting to see. We already kind of know where this is headed. We didn't catch it, but it'll be interesting to see if it came to the box. The box is probably all covered in the snow. Right there, there's our box. They did not try to dig around at the box or anything. That's interesting. There's a track there. So it seems to me that it smelled some of the lure and uh, didn't really have an interest in the bait or didn't locate the bait, I guess. Well, those fisher tracks kind of petered off down the road. Must have gone in the woods and hunting rabbits or something. But we got a trap fired off here. Let's go check it out. No tail sticking out of the box, so it's probably not big, whatever it is, if anything. What's that thing doing there? Alright, let's see. Box is all froze to the ground pretty good. I see white, guys. Another nice weasel. Sweet. The year of the long tail weasel, man. Catching a whole pile of them. There you go. Got them on the partridge feathers and partridge guts. Well, would you look at that? The sun has finally decided to grace us with his presence today. It's getting toward the end of the day, of course, but I guess it's better late than never. Um, I love this spot. I, I had a feeling that this was eventually going to catch something if I had uh, the trap here long enough. And finally, I see it's fired, so I'm kind of excited to see whether we caught a martin or not. Or maybe even a fisher, but it's more martin habitat than anything in here. Nice, nice spot. This was the old road probably 60 or 70 years ago. Look how that's grown in. All those big old trees. Pretty awesome little spot. Anytime you get green moss growing on down logs, pretty good, I think. Okay, let's see. Yes, sir, we got one. Awesome. We got a Martin. 
Only Martin number two of the day. Been so long. There it is. All right. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Beaver meat for bait. Predator plus for lure. And a Martin. Well, this had been the end of the line uh, a few checks ago. And I mentioned to you guys, I did a video on this spot that this was kind of a, I'm on a real high area, like 1700 feet elevation, and there's a saddle. And in this saddle, this little dip here, some really nice timber. It looks like great Martin habitat. I've checked it, uh, I think twice and haven't caught anything, but I see the traps been set off here. Something was digging behind the box. So I haven't looked inside of the box, but I'm kind of hopeful here. It's been a good day. Nice draw, big timber here, mixed wood. I like it. It's one of those spots where I said, if I don't catch anything here, I'm gonna be kind of surprised. There's the box, and you can see see how someone had dug at the at the bait. It's hard to tell what it was. Um, looks like the size of probably a martin. You can see it burrowed in right there, and was trying to get to the bait and realized it couldn't do it. But. You might see a little tail right there. That might just belong to a Martin. Yep, we got a Martin. Awesome. Oh, nice one. Look at that, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful Martin. Whew. Well, that's good. That's good, it was worth coming all the way up here. I had quite a heck of a time trying to climb some of these hills with all the, the snow and the ice underneath it on the road. So that's a good reward. It's awesome. All right, sweet. I'm gonna pull this in a few days, but I think I'll reset this. Caught this in one of those Russ Carmen traps that I had lying around. Sweet. I gotta show you guys this. I don't know if I'll do it justice in the camera, but this is one of those tra traps I got that had been owned by Russ Carmen, and he had these circle triggers. And this Martin went through the circle trigger. You could see the, the circle there. And you can see it over here. That Martin climbed through that circle. I don't know how he got his head through there. It just, it just goes to show how, uh, what these animals can fit through. Look at that. That is just unreal. Um, I don't know. I don't. I'm not going to be able to get it out. I'm going to have to go get a new trap and bring this home. But that is, boy, that is something else. Oh, what a day, man! I must be getting old and out of shape or something. Uh, the days are getting shorter. And apparently I don't leave a lot of time because it's already getting dark and uh, I'm not through the traps yet. So uh, yeah, it's been, it's been, uh, maybe I'm just too slow. I should be running. I've been, I've been trying to run to get the rest of these checked. Um, but I saw a tail sticking out of the box over here. So um, we better go check it out. We got a fisher in there and it looks like it was just caught. Oh my goodness, that is, uh, that is amazing. Um, I'm gonna go and dispatch that. She's tail twitching on the side of the box. I don't wanna, I don't wanna bother him more than I have to. So I'm gonna go and dispatch that booger and, uh, and then we'll uh, come back and show you some footage. All right, uh, that fisher had just come in. Uh, who knows how long it was in there. I don't think it was very long. Um, I, judging from the way it was caught with that trap, um, 
boy, it would have been dead if it hadn't been caught just within the last hour or so. Um, so anyway, yeah, this is um, this, this is pretty cool. This is the third fisher of the day. And uh, yeah, I just like, it was a quick wrap on the head with the ax to dispatch it. I just don't like, I don't know, personally, I, I think it's, to me, it's more respectful for the animals just to deal with them without showing them on the camera. That's just kind of my thing. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's check it out. Beautiful fisher, huh? Uh, a little bit of beaver meat for bait and long distance call. Uh, boy, it is the day of the fisher, man. They're just moving and moving moving. It's pretty amazing. I don't believe I've ever caught three fishers in one day, so that's a record for me, which is pretty amazing. Um, I should have known. I ran out of good, like, deep woods martin country, and I'm into some on uh, a different landowner, and it, it's harvested uh, quite a bit heavier. I am still in some good country, but there's a lot of patchwork, clear cuts, and there's uh, the, the land is is split up and, and fragmented into different habitat types, which is great for fisher. They love that. Um, it doesn't seem to bother them as long as they got a few runs to go in, in and get out of the snow. Um, and, and get some shelter but uh, for martin it's different not as many martin but anyway yeah that's pretty awesome another white patch on, uh, on the inside on the belly there that's pretty cool oh yeah that's a strong strong trap that that animal would not have lasted much longer that's that's amazing it may be, you know maybe i'm lucky that it took me so long to get these traps all checked today and, and pulled because uh, we might not have caught this guy if we'd come a little earlier. He might have heard the truck coming and, and scattered. But anyway, there it is. Beautiful. All right, we got two more traps to check. Hopefully I don't have to have the headlamp on when I'm checking them. And then uh, maybe if we, if we can, I'll try to put a, the animals out on the tailgate and show you what we caught today. Oh man, that is awesome. That smells really strong, that fisher. Fisher released some scent from his glands after it was caught. And uh, you never know, that might entice another animal into the trap. A smaller fisher. All right, I gotta move on. Well, it's the last trap of the day. You might as well come in and check it with me. Almost dark. Nothing here. Don't even have to move any snow around. All right, looks good to go. Okay, let's go back to the truck here. So, it was a good run of the line. Took all day. But that's all right. It's probably going to be second to the last trap line day for me for the year. Um, so all things considered, I'm pretty happy. Let's uh, let's get the tailgate down and let's see what we got. Set this tripod up. Beautiful, beautiful day. All right. We've got a Martin from earlier in the day. Right here. We got a weasel. I left the traps on because uh, everything's so much colder that uh, half these animals are froze solid. So. You can't get the trap off without doing a little damage to the fur. Uh, 
Another Martin. Another weasel. And a partridge. Put that in there. And a third Martin. And a fisher. And a fisher. And finally, a fisher. Boy, as far as a mixed bag of species, this is probably the best trap line run I think I've had. You know, I've had, I had one day last year where I caught 10 Martin, which is awesome, but that's, you know, I didn't catch any uh, fisher in that, in that run. So that's pretty cool, man. That is just really, really awesome. Boy, oh boy. Second to last trap line run of the season. Been a tough year, but uh, it's paying off now, finally. All that work and all those empty traps I checked is finally, uh, finally starting to pay off a little bit. So that's good. It's going to be a nice drive home. I'm excited to uh, get home and show this to the boys. They're going to love to see these. All right, signing off. That is glare ice. The road's done... Uh, bunch of miles on pavement and now I'm on dirt and everything's just ice so pulling the traps this morning got up a little earlier it's up around three o'clock fell back asleep back up at four couldn't fall back asleep so I said ah what the heck I'm gonna go so it's all rained warmed up freezing rain sleet rain yesterday and it all froze overnight now the wind is blowing uh, 20 to 30 miles an hour gusts up to 40 expected today so this could be quite interesting and uh yeah i'm i'm gonna navigate my way through this ice skating rink and and uh, go pull some traps that right there is why i brought the chainsaw with me today um almost just it just appeared out of the dark all of a sudden there's this big wall of tree and it is blowing like crazy so yeah, I gotta get this guy cut out of the road and so I can keep going. I'm sure there's gonna be more of these. It's not gonna be pretty, but gotta get out there and check the traps. Now that is some wind. Wow. If you could feel this wind right now, you'd probably hear it howling. It's unbelievable. Uh, even in the trees. This is uh, certainly the most wind I can remember this year it's supposed to gust to 40 today so a lot of trees will come down hopefully none drops on us while I'm pulling traps but anyway boy just get started first trap here and uh we'll see how she goes pulling boxes pulling boxes um yeah haven't got anything yet it's been kind of slow wicked windy out so we get a truck full of boxes we got one more on this string of traps and getting them out of here this was uh interesting this was a area that i did really really well in last year but it was quite slow this year um in compare you know everything's slow but this was slower than other parts of the trap line which was kind of interesting but anyway that's how it goes i guess that's why you got to try different areas right because uh not everything is the same year to year and if if uh, the animals have moved around or the feeding patterns are different or uh, maybe more of them got harvested than could come in from outside the population then maybe you're not going to do as well but if you try different areas you can hopefully find a place that's going to have uh, better numbers of catchable fur so, i'm walking down here because it's warmed up it really has warmed up and of course this wind is bringing back cold weather but it was so warm yesterday that there's just like a layer of the the snow is kind of half uh it's like crystallized a bunch of little snow crystals on top of my tracks from last week and i can't stay 
I keep sliding off my tracks and going into this deep crystallized snow and you just can't get any traction. I'm probably, actually, I, so I'm, wa I'm walking into this set because I don't want to come in this spot. There's a little turnaround here and uh, it's always nasty. I always have a hard time getting out of here. So today I probably uh, wouldn't have made it. So I think I'm going to have to chain up in the next road system, but I, I don't want to put chains on until I absolutely have to because it, it really slows you down. So let's go check this site out and pull this box out. Caught a weasel here in a few checks ago, but that's all I've caught. Trap is fired off, but I don't see anything. Hey, we might have something there. I don't know if that's a squirrel or a martin. I can't quite tell. Boy, that'd be kind of cool if it was a martin. I haven't caught anything in this whole line today. Let's see. Checked and pulled uh, what about 20 traps today. Never caught a thing in the one trap that I walk in with the camera, not expecting to catch anything. We got my mink. All right. Wow. You know how long I've been waiting for this. I've never caught a mink in these boxes. This is amazing. This is worth the whole day right here. Just just catching this mink. Um, we're nowhere near the water. There's a, there's a brook that's probably half a mile that way. Might be a little less than half a mile. Uh, where I drove all the way in on the road, there's a pond down here a quarter mile away, frozen over, but no streams really to speak of. Boy, this is just complete upland away from any water. We got a mink. This, that's just amazing. That is just amazing. Come check it out. Just a little bugger. My goodness. Isn't that something? It's uh, it almost looks like a, it almost doesn't even look like a mink. It almost looks like a black weasel. <laughs> So I guess that's what a mink is in a lot of ways, huh? Wow, that is, that is really, that is really something. Awesome, awesome. That's so cool. Oh, I figured this was gonna happen. You go, there's a sharp turn there, and then you get a straight uphill. It doesn't look steep from here, but it is just as soon as you get out of view. And a few different tries, even in four low, I can't make it. It's just too warm. It, the other day it was, you know, in the teens, maybe 20 degrees and I could get traction, but I can't get traction on this stuff this warm. But they're so we're chaining up. First time this trapping season that we're uh, putting on the chains. I'm hoping I can get up there with just the back, uh, uh, the back tires chained up and save a little time. But yeah, I got most of the bunch of boxes pulled. I did catch a weasel a while back. I think it's in here. Yeah, there it is. So that's it. Uh, other than that, it has been slow, so probably was the right decision to pull the traps. I'm gonna throw these chains on and uh, try to make that hill. All right, chained up, back tires. Let's see if we can make this hill. Four low, we should have plenty of traction now. You can see where I spun out, spun out back and forth a few times. The snow is just so loose. Oh, we're gonna make it. I think. No problem, no problem at all. All right. All right, we can check our two traps on this road and then move on. 
boy is it windy man well the chains we only need chains in the back tires we got through there up that hill we got another pretty good hill to climb over here and uh but that shouldn't be too bad uh, i did throw a set in here so anyway uh this uh, you can see there's a clear cut plantation right there and you know this isn't great martin habitat this whole stretch of road on the end of the road is where i sat in that saddle and i caught a martin that's where i th it was on the edge of some really good habitat off the end of the road and, and i did catch a martin there but i was kind of i had i don't know i had like uh a, a mile or so of road here maybe a mile and a half and it just felt like i was going through an awful long stretch of road for one trap and i figured i'd throw one in here so this is just a little strip of woods between these two big cuts and i put it right close to the road with a big box um, i see the traps fired i just stuck it over the other side of this stump or this uh, log this down cedar tree um, just something that you couldn't see you know you can't see that from the road but look it's like it's like 30 40 feet off the road pretty pretty convenient so i just tucked that box in there put a little bit of lure uh, up above it and i see it something in there there's a tail there's a tail of something either a martin or a fisher so let's check it out snow kind of drifted in there pretty good it was all covered up the, the other day when i went to check this so i just cleared the snow out of the out of the way and kept the set working oh yes 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 that looks to be a fisher all right another fisher it is fisher time went along wild out of the fish of the season because we weren't targeting them we were targeting martin um, but we started setting in some fisher habitat and then we got colder weather and the fisher were more willing to go into these boxes. That's good. I hadn't caught a martin or fisher yet today. So I get that mink and weasel uh, fisher now. Woo! Little one. And who knows, we might catch a martin after this and we'd have a little bit of everything. That'd be pretty sweet. Every uh, dry land mustelid that we uh, can catch here. So yeah, that's a really light colored one. Um, light colored on the back, big white patch. Belly man, that's a pretty cool fisher. That is, that's pretty nice. Awesome, awesome, I'll take it, love it. All right. Oh, finally, last trap of the day. Probably last trap of the season for me. So let's go check it out. That's it. All right. I'll leave this box here. My truck's full of boxes, so I'm gonna come back and pick this one up and the, the other few uh, toward the end of the line and uh, get those home later. But we got all the traps pulled, everything's good to go. Um, yeah, I just had the Fisher, Martin, and or Fisher, Weasel, and the Mink. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was a good season. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm tired. Kind of ready to take a break. So I'm going to truck it on home through the slushy, messy snow with a truckload full of boxes. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. It was a lot of fun having you along for the trap line. And Till next time, we'll catch you on down the line.